I'm Carl, and you're watching the Coffee Bar Channel. So here's the, the official unboxing right now. Check out this old school. <laughs> if you're probably wondering why I'm in my car, it's because it's raining and it will not stop raining and I refuse to get wet. So, yeah. And I'm trying to get in the bowling alley to film retired gems number six, but the weather is keeping me. Hence, de la Florida. But check her out. How beautiful is this thing? It has not ever been down a lane. We got the match by <laughs> serial number. Huge. After I got done drilling the inertia, I brought out my mean machine, cleaner off a little bit. It's been a while since I've thrown it. And for this week of chapter six, episode six, <laughs> The retired gems we have, the inertia. 253, don't have my grips in it yet, but that's how I drilled it. This ball is pretty sweet. It's 253 RG and a 051 differential. Did not look up the specs on the mean machine. I've just kind of always had it. She hooks a lot. So both these balls roughly are about the same time. You can tell by engravings on the balls with the uh, serial numbers and stuff yeah I got this one new in box not too long ago I got it for a great deal I've always wanted this ball ever since I was young so bam got it now and the mean machine just an all-time favorite of mine first off we got the mean machine so the mean machine is a ball that I got forever ago by my coach Craig Hansen and he got this ball to me and I just fell in love with it ever since. I won so many tournaments and won so much money as a youth bowler with this ball. And it's extremely versatile. Like I really liked it on long patterns and anytime I just had to hook the ball a lot. So I'll show you a little bit of its versatility. I'm gonna go pretty forward with it and show you guys how early it can get and then show you just how much it can hook down lane as well. So you can see it's that keeps a pretty round shape, even when you fall off balance. <laughs> so, these are live shots, so they're gonna be good or they're gonna be bad. But, yeah, the Mew Machine's always something that has been like a really good ball for me. I haven't thrown it in so many years, but, you know, it has stood the test of time somehow. Here, we'll get another shot. We're gonna, I wanna throw you a Two live action shots with each ball, and then we'll cut to a lot of uh, highlight reels. Yeah, she is just crispy. <laughs> so, I'm gonna get pretty far left on this one, and I'm gonna show you just how much it can really retain its shape when it gets left. And check this out. So I'm gonna move to like, that shot was on a 30. We'll go all the way 35. 35 is pretty far, but mean machines called the mean machine for a reason. <laughs> wow. I that was decelerated a little bit on that one, but man, did that thing hook. So we are going to move on to my new prize possession the inertia <laughs> i just drilled a new box so she is ready to rip it so we're gonna start out i'm gonna do kind of up the back and like with uh i just did on the mean machine and we'll see how this ball responds to that same hand position Holy cow, that just blew through the pins. <laughs> so I got some fans watching me today. So, as you guys can see, that is an, an amazing, <laughs> what a response on the down lane through the pins. That is wild. So this ball immediately stores more energy. 
<laughs> Jesus. All right, so we're gonna move a good bit left. So this ball's got some room to eat. So now we're back into 35 with our feet, where we ended with the mean machine. And let's see, let's see how far this ball can go. Now that is impressive. If you guys like what you saw today, smash that like and subscribe button. And which one rolled better to you guys? The Mean Machine or the Inertia? Also, if you got any of your favorite balls of all time, drop them in the comments section and see if I can find them.